Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am back for some time to take care of things, important, but let's get straight to the point. Therefore, this video will be unlike any other video I had for you before, because this will be my personal take on, on the events that took place yesterday in Warsaw between Polish farmers and Polish police. Uh, even though I was really, really tired because I didn't sleep almost for two days, you know, to travel and that's how it is. I went on the internet yesterday and started to do my own personal research, watching many, many different videos from the citizens who were posting them, from the re reporters who were in Warsaw during this time yesterday and also many videos from Polish parliament because while those protests and uh, police attacking farmers was taking place some of the MPs went out and then they went back to same and they were saying few things that I would like to bring to you so you have a bigger picture of understanding this. I know many people have already reported on those events or they will be but I think they have a very partial understanding of this because, first of all, they don't watch those videos, they don't understand the language. So for me to even seeing the expressions of farmers, the words they are saying, just, I think, I'm not saying I'm better, but I have a little bit deeper and more wider understanding of the situation. I hope you, you get what I mean by that. So let's start with this. Yesterday, Polish farmers went to Warsaw. They wanted Polish Prime Minister, new slash old Prime Minister, Donald Tusk, to talk to them. I have to tell you honestly, now when I'm recording this, I am very disturbed because I just put another video in the community page in which I was seeing even more harm that was done to Polish farmers. So Tusk never went out to talk to them, which how many things could be prevented if Polish Prime Minister, who supposedly represents the Polish people, lol, right, went out and just talked to them. He have it. You have those people who are protesting then, then you have the police who is standing right in front of them. And then, here is the catch. You have those stones, or let's say bricks, that are perfectly prepared in certain strategic areas where the farmers are. Coincidence, huh? I didn't know about it because all I saw was a video when a policeman, which I posted on my community page, takes one of this, yes, policeman, takes one of those bricks, stones, and throws it into the crowd of farmers. If this is how police supposed to protect or react, is this in any code of conduct of police department? I don't think so. I'm not an expert, but just please correct me if I'm wrong. And that reminded me what was taking place in the United States, and I was still there at the time, during the movement of Black Lives Matter. And as a matter of fact, I was actually living in California, not in Los Angeles. I was in Santa Barbara. And in LA, when they were destroying the businesses, smashing the shopping windows, the same was taking place actually in Washington DC as well. Somehow, just a coincidence, those bricks were lined up. So what took place yesterday, we had a provocation. <laughs> Something that I told you they're gonna do when I was still in Moscow and I was recording the video. We had the provocation. They used this, they used this, as they always do, to create a turmoil, to badmouth Polish farmers. I've watched many videos, guys, yesterday. There was one video with a lady, she's a farmer, who was describing how police just spray the gas straight in her eyes and her, uh, and her you know, other farmers, who are friends maybe, who are with her, other protesters. There, were, there are many videos of innocent people who have been harmed, who have been attacked, who didn't have any weapons, who didn't have any stones, anything to really fight with. Some of them, all they had was the Polish flag that they carry. 
It's disgusting what took place yesterday. There are no words to justify, to excuse the behavior like this. And when I listen to the words of, you know, there was a lot of cursing, there was a lot of anger because who wouldn't be? And the farmers were saying, you're gonna die out of hunger. And they curse towards police because who serves police? In my opinion, who serves police and has the gut and has the morale to attack someone who is not a harm for you at all? What justifies this decision, the order? What kind of order? So isn't it the highest order to protect the citizens and allow them to express what they want to express if they are not harming you? I'm not saying self-protection, that's a different story. Sidetracking with this, one of the MPs in Sejm, in Polish Parliament, mentioned those bricks. He said, how is it that we have another protest and we have again those bricks lying there? What happened, in my opinion, is you had several people who were, of course, where they supposed to be. And they had the tools that they supposed to have that were used in order to create overall the takeaway, as they supposed to do, for the media, as the media supposed to report on this. So, nothing new, the same story, the tragic part of it is human suffering, is disgrace, looking at those people, some older people, women, men, who have been treated like this. I am actually very upset with this, I have to tell you, that's why this video is very different, because I have to take it out and express it to you, I know many of you will understand this. Um, I am not surprised that that's how this uh, unfolded because I told you, I told you this several weeks ago when I recorded this video in Moscow. You might watch it. I might put the link down below. I said, don't be triggered Polish farmers because they're going to use it against you. And they did. And this just shows you where this country is heading. It's just another evidence, another perfect example of what they are planning to do, how they are going to treat any form of movement, what kind of government, what kind of, what kind of prime minister, right? Why don't you just come out? Why don't you? No, it's better to go to Davos, it's better to go to where the reptiles gather, it's better to be part of the, you know, cool and the gang, because that's where the money is, right? It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. I am not surprised. Unfortunately, I'm not surprised, but that's what took place. So I want you to know that I believe there are a few people who created this chaos intentionally and they have been given tools to do so. There were innocent victims. I feel sorry if any one of you is a Polish farmer and is watching. I don't think there are any who are watching my videos, but I just want to say you, my heart goes out to you. I want to thank you for standing up for Poland because even though this is not easy country to live in, I have a lot of love for this country. And I, with age, with time, with my father passing away and with coming back here, I became more, how to say this, I became more appreciative of my background, of where I come from. And I'm, I'm grateful for people like yourself who actually still love this country and stand for something that didn't s sell their soul to the devil and just stand for the truth in the simplest way possible. So with this being said, guys, I will end this video here. I just want to show you the spring is in the air. It's already here. I don't want to step on those beautiful flowers. You can see behind me as well, lots of them. So, if people will be reporting on this, I just want you to know that it has not, it has not, as always, media is not presenting this as they always do. They twist the, the facts, they don't give you the full picture. And I'm not saying that uh, police was not attacked. What I'm saying, if anyone attacked police, in my opinion, was either in self-defense, or, or there were few people who supposed to be there in order to create this chaos. Innocent women without any form of self-protection were affected by this. 
were attacked by the police. What kind of policeman is throwing the stone towards the farmers? Give, give me explanation for this. I just don't get it. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. I have no comments of the day, but I'm just very uh, disturbed with what took place yesterday. Tomorrow at what time? Let me think. 5 p.m. Yes, 5 p.m. Warsaw time. I have live stream scheduled with Mr. Larry Johnson who is back in US and I think it will be absolutely great. We will have some good conversation as always we do. So you will find the link already in the community page and also um, on the main page of the channel. So tu tune in, it will be 11 a.m. Uh, Florida time and 5 p.m. Poland, Warsaw time. Every other link down below this video as far as my Instagram, locals, you can see the video also, the latest one I put from that event that took place in Poland. This is just the beginning, guys. This is how I feel. This is just the beginning. There will be more and more protests. And then just wait, just wait when they're going to do anything with Polish troops and they decide to send them, you know where. Just wait, because when you watch those videos, from Polish reporters or people who were there, or just regular citizens who were in the place and they recorded like, what the heck is going on? You should see the comments. You can actually do this. You can go yourself and read the comments. You can translate them from Polish into English. You have such an option on YouTube, which makes your life easier and you can read. People are not stupid. The viewers are not stupid. They stand for farmers. They see what's going on. And they say, this is like, you know, we used to have 1981, right? Zomo, that was the police. They were pulling people aside, absolutely torturing them and silencing them and throwing them into prisons. So sad, guys. But this is just the beginning. And it's better to know than not to know, right? What's going on? Thank you so much. Lots of love. And remember that we are the leading edge and we are saving humanity. I hope you're okay with this different video. See you tomorrow.